Here's a her, and today I've been doing a video about Nextel. So before I get further into the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to Aldo or Andrew. Um, he did a video about Nextel on his channel, so if you guys want to check it out, his link will be down below. So I got this video out there from him. So uh, it looks like the Nextel is back. So if you guys want to check this out, a link to this website will be down below. So this is all pretty interesting, guys. So Nextel is back. Um, so if you guys don't know what Nextel is or was or whatever, um, Nextel is basically a walkie-talkie, um, you know, service or whatever that you can, uh, chirp to different, uh, Nextel users, and, uh, so that, so that was pretty cool back in the day, but, uh, like, well, I could see a purpose for it nowadays if you're, like, doing construction work and stuff like that. Uh, so, it says here, press the talk, and... Sailor Mobile Solutions for a small planet wherever you go, next to follow. So, um, yeah. So, this is pretty interesting. I don't know what network they're using. I don't know if they're using their own network or using, or using someone else's network. I don't know. Uh, so, you gotta send they got a couple of phones there. Do they got cameras on them? Like, uh, because back in the day when Nextel had phones, they really didn't have cameras on them. They had, like, just the, uh, basic functions. Uh, data was very slow on the add-in network. That's what they were using back then. I don't know what they're using now. And, uh, so they, they got a couple phones here, so, um, let's go ahead and check this out. Um, so you just got us and check out, uh, the coverage map, nationwide and beyond. Nextel nationwide service extends work where to where traditional sailor service can't to keep you to keep to, to keep your teams informed to keep your teams connected in the toughest environments coast to coast. Um, so that's pretty cool. Then where communication can't wait next to links you up in the instant. Providing solutions for every industry next to provides instant push to talk communication so that your team can coordinate perfectly in real time. So they have the trip trip feature. So pretty cool that that was the uh, that was cool back in the day. But now I probably but now it'd be great for like construction and all workers and stuff like that. So yeah, go down there. So. Uh, you can basically use Nextel on any devices and they got a uh, computer, a tablet, and a phone, so, uh, pretty interesting, you can check them out on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn, you guys can call them if you guys want, you guys can also email them if you guys want, so, this is very interesting, so, if you click up here, you guys can then become a dealer, check on devices, let's check on devices, see what they got rocking up here. Next tell is back. So, so they got the Yuli Armor 6, which is a uh, smartphone, so they got smartphones on there. Uh, a powerful rocket smartphone with tons of features. And to tell you what each phone is out there for, and this one is out there for construction. Government, contractors, healthcare. They also got the U the Uli Armor 3T, a revolutionary rocket smartphone with built-in walkie-talkie function. Idea for construction, government, contractors, healthcare. They got the I-655. Uh, this is just a basic phone here, so nothing special about this phone here. Two-way network, analog, and DMR, all at one radio. Ideal for construction, logistics, events, government, security, contractors. They also got the N990 right here. Uh, that thing looks weird as hell. Two way cellular mobile with vertical mount, palm light, built in GPS tracking, and a large display. <coughs> Idea for construction, logistics, government, contractors, healthcare, and they got the I 450. <coughs> so this is way different than this is way different from the I 450 back in the day that was made by 
Motorola. This is totally different to way 4G cellular network radio. Ideal for events and security. Uh, then I got, also got the M370, a two way cellular mobile radio, perfect for ultra long communication. For ultra long lines communications. Ideal for events, logistics, and security. They got the i682 here, a handheld portable diesel trunk walkie talkie with GPS. Ideal for security and government. They got the i900, which is a smartphone. Which is a full smartphone technology with cellular two way radio. Idea for construction and contractors. They got the iPhone as well, which is pretty interesting. So you can get an iPhone here. Multiple iPhone models available to choose from. Idea for management, logistics, production there. <coughs> bring your own, so you can bring any of the devices here. <coughs> so. Just get your fleet up and running with the power of Nextel service on your existing devices. So, um, they got run that down. Oh, this is crazy, y'all. Oh, I see what curse map they got. So, you click on her, click on devices, click on covers map, but she got the covers map. And this is the Nextel coverage map here. This is Nextel's uh, coverage map here. So, I guess I say it has a lot of ones on there. Yeah, they covered the uh, Delaware 48. They also got coverage in Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico, which is pretty cool. Um, so the orange looking color is LTE and other coverage. So you guys get a lot of LTE coverage here. And then the dark orange color is like. 5G, so that's scattered. So you guys won't get five. Y'all guys will not get next. Y'all guys will not get five. Y'all next out in a lot of places. Um, I want to know what network are they running on. I want to if they have their own network or they're using someone else's network. It doesn't say nowhere on the website here. Um, it's kind of cool that they got curved in Puerto Rico and that looks like it's mostly 5G in Puerto Rico there you guys can see the map there Alaska has small coverage on Hawaii is mostly like LTE coverage on that um, uh, so it says here Nextel communication is not affiliated with Sprint communications so <coughs> you guys know that um Back in the day, uh, Sprint and Nextel was all partnered up back in the day. If you guys remember that, then Beast Mobile got carried over to the uh, Nextel, and they had like a lot of they had cool Nextel phones back in the day. Uh, my favorite Beast Mobile uh, Nextel phone was the i855e. That was a nice one back in the day. Beast Mobile also had the Motorola i1 as well, and that was a smartphone. That was the first i smartphone from Nextel. Was the Motorola i1 and that came out in what 2011 was that thing 2010-2011 for Beast Mobile and that had Android 1.6 on it so that was the only smartphone from Nextel at, uh, at that time was the, was the Motorola i1 and then they uh, eventually got Blackberries later on so yeah, that's pretty cool that Nextel is back. That's pretty interesting, man. Um, so what they're mostly back for is like if you do like you have like a business related. If you like if you this is meant for like business. It's not for like everyday customers like myself. So it's not for that. It's for like you know businesses like construction workers and government uh, personnel and stuff like that. That's not for. Uh, regular people like us, you know, it's not, back in the day, yeah, it was cool, back in the day, they, uh, you know, chirp somebody, you know, just do the chirp, chirp and shit, it's cool back in the day, but now, I don't really see a place for it in the general public, I really don't, but the place I can see, it's on, like, construction sites, and 
government offices and stuff like that, security and whatever. So uh, there's a use for a person to talk. There's a use for it, um, but that's not use for it in the uh, in the, in, uh, in the everyday life for normal people because that time has passed. So yeah, this is pretty interesting, guys. So what do you guys think? About next to being back, this is pretty cool. I found out about this from my little Andrew, so shot to him. So, this is pretty interesting, guys. I want to know what network are they running off of? Like their, do they have their own network? Because they don't mention anything about network on the uh, website anywhere. So, uh, this is pretty interesting. And uh, you can uh, bring your own device to it, and you can have an iPhone on here, and all that cool stuff. So, um, pretty cool and uh yeah so this bring back some this does bring back some memories that of the next tell days for Boost Mobile it does in my opinion because I had a few chirp friends on Boost Mobile back in the day. Like I said my favorite uh next tell friend on Boost was the was the Motorola at eight fifty five E. That was a nice friend. I had the camera on and stuff like that. Pretty nice one friend back in the day. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty interesting, and, uh, yeah, what, uh, yeah, and what, uh, and what, uh, and what are your guys' thoughts about Next Up being back, you know? So, this is, so, I think now they're gearing it towards, like, business and stuff like that, so, there you go. So, if you guys do construction work or stuff like that, Y'all guys can check this out. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It really helps me out a lot. Please wait, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.